Kaboom. Even I heard him think dead there. Nailed it. I'm gonna go see King Richard. Who may or may not be Sean Connery. Five other people who have seen uh, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves with Kevin Costner and Elizabeth Manster Antonio. And Alan Rickman, which is one of my favorite movies. Even though it's not a very good movie, but... Oh, what am I kidding? It's an awesome movie. <laughs> I love it. Alright. I made it! Did I miss it? Am I on time? I'm right on time. Three thousand souls, William. God I was told flag. they would be held as prisoners and used to barter for the release of our men. The Saracens would not have honored that end of the bargain. You know this to be true. I did you a favor. <laughs> oh, yes. A great favor indeed. Now our enemies will be that much stronger in their convictions. Fight that much harder. I know our enemy well. They will not be emboldened, but filled with fear. Tell me, how is it you know the intentions of our enemies so well? You who forsake the field of battle to play at politics? I did what was right, what was just. You swore an oath to uphold the work of God, William. But that is not what I see here. No. I see a man who's trampled it. Your words are most unkind, my liege. I would hope I might have earned your trust by now. You, you are us. us. Regent William, set, set to, to rule, rule in my stead. stead. How, How much, much more, more trust is required? Perhaps, Perhaps you'd, you'd like, like my, my crown. crown. You missed the point. But this is nothing new. Much as I'd like to waste my Look day at that guy's hat! With you, I have a war to fight. The guy in the blue with the green hat? Oh. Do not let me delay you then. Your grace. That was an amazing hat. I fear there will be no place for men like him in the new world. Okay, that's Send definitely that a threat. With the troops. We must ensure that everyone is doing their part. Warn them that any negligence will be severely punished. I'm in no mood to be trifled with today. Yes, my lord. Let me the rest of you. Let me relieve me. you of that bad mood. Eh? You up for it? I certainly am. I don't care if you're up for it. I'm coming for you, William. This is the way I always get in. So we're gonna go with it, because it works. Until I forget where to go. I climbed up the wrong scaffolding. <laughs> Whoopsie! Ah, shit. Oh, nice catch. Here we go. This is where I want to be. Oh dear. Well, okay. We're gonna have to avoid that. I can't believe I picked one up. God dang it. Oh, hello. Okay. Climb down as low as we can, and then drop and break our ankles! Ow! Whoa! Whew. I always manage to chuck a knife just before they turn around. I missed. We're gonna try and be stealthy. If I'm detected outside of his little, uh little whatever it's called what is it now? then uh, I won't risk him running away if I get to take the bomb inside then that's an issue but not anymore it's not Okay, I have to wait for we this whole thing to pass. of failing in our duties. He does not recognize the value of our contributions to the cause. For shame! He knows nothing! He's wrong! Peace! Peace! Hold your tongue! Aye, he speaks falsely. Wait, do I? But his words are not without some merit. To tour these grounds, it is easy to find fault. To see imperfection. 
I fear we have grown slack. I can't and reach lazy. Him, damn it. We are committed. Why do you say this? I see the way you train. You lack conviction and focus. You gossip and gamble. Tasks set to you are left unfulfilled. I'm bopping on a dead man. Performed. This ends today. I will not suffer further degradation at his hands. For whether or not you see it, and you should, this is your fault. You've brought shame upon us all. Skill all right. and dedication I think I have a plan. are what won us, Ark. And they will be required to keep it. I have been too lenient, it seems. But no more. You will train harder and more often. If this means missing meals, missing sleep, so be it. And should you fail in these tasks, you will learn the true meaning of discipline. Bring them forward. If I must make examples of some of you to ensure obedience, so be it. The two of you stand accused of whoring and drinking while on duty. Oh, what shit. say you to these charges? My, 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 my lord, please. We, we, we meant no harm by it. We, we forgot ourselves. It will not happen again. No, it won't. Ah! Ah! Damn, this regard son. for duty is infectious. It shall be rooted out and destroyed. In this way, we may prevent its spread. Am I understood? Yes, my lord. Oh, yes, sir. By your command. Good, good. Return to your posts filled with a new sense of purpose. Stay strong, stay focused, and we will triumph. Falter, however, and you will join these men. Be sure of it. Dismissed! Okay, this is what I was waiting for. For him to go back here, have his back to this corner, get down as low as I possibly can, except I can't at all. Oh, okay. Hiya! Surprise, motherfucker! Rest now. Your schemes are at an end. What do you know of my work? That's an easier one. <laughs> I know that you are going to it just murder requires a lot of patience. and claim Appa for your son, Conrad. <laughs> for Conrad? My son is an arse, unfit to lead his host, let alone a kingdom. And Richard, the Oncino is no better, blinded as he is by faith in the insubstantial. Akra does not belong to either of them. Then who? The city belongs to its people. How can you claim to speak for the citizens? You stole their food, disciplined them without mercy, forced them into service under you. Everything I did, I did to prepare them for the new world. Stole their food? No. I took possession so that when the lean times came, it might be rationed properly. <coughs> Look around. My district is without crime, save those committed by you and your ilk. And as for the conscription, they were not being trained to fight. They were being taught the merits of order and discipline. These things are hardly evil. No matter how noble you believe your intentions, these acts are cruel and cannot continue. <laughs> we'll see how sweet they are, the fruits of your labors. You do not free the cities as you believe, but rather damn them. And, and in the, the end, end you have, have only yourself, yourself to blame. blame. You. Who speak, speak of, of good, good intentions. Requies Catipache, you traitorous asshole! King Richard will reign well without you. Close the gate! The city needs a new regent! Now, excuse me, I'm gonna go up here and jump across here and oh my god, lots of guards. Excuse me! Pardon me! Ow! Oh crap, I'm on the wrong side of the city. Uh. Hey, this looks familiar. Okay. What am I kidding? This whole game looks familiar. Hi! Please don't throw rocks at me. today this <laughs> this definitely makes up for the crappy session from last time and i've been recording for over an hour so i'm almost done for the day hurrah huh. climb it dude keep an 
an eye open to the roof guards and have my short blade equipped while I'm at it. Aha! No. And I ain't no peasant. You must have me confused with someone else. Got that ball here. What was that? What was that? Where are you going? Jesus. Please don't jump off high things unless you have permission from me. I know you like scaring me, but seriously, enough is enough. Uh, oh, there's a beam. Not there, though! Jesus, all dear, what did I just say? What? Where? I don't see no assassin. I would try to go down to the streets and uh, get more pocket knives, but ah, don't jump, game. But I don't want to run the risk of being detected like I just was there. So here we go. I did it! William of Montferrat is dead. What news? William of Montferrat is dead, and with him his plans for betrayal. You've done well keeping Atka from his hands. But why now, when the Crusaders require unity most? Could have waited. Waited for what? For Richard to return and discover his schemes? No. It was the perfect time for him to strike. Strange. I was, I was sure, sure he meant, meant to take Akka for Conrad. Yet he claimed this was not his plan. plan. You cannot trust the words of a snake which even in death produces venom. I should discuss this with Al Muallim. Yes, my friend. Make haste for Masia. I am sure he is eager for news. I would hope so. Fast forwarding memory that was perfect to a more timing. recent one. All right, I did it! I'm so happy. I had such a concession. Uh, oh right, we have to go back to Desmond first before we go back to Almwadlin, because that was the third target of memory block floor. Floor? Memory block floor? For blah, blah, blah. whatever. Just forget I said anything. <laughs> we done already? Get up. Whatever you say, Doc. I'm ending the session. No, I'll be right there. You're sure about this? Yes. No. Everything's Denver. I don't see how he could... Of course. I understand. You're in a lot of trouble, Mr. Miles. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What What's that do? his problem? They're coming for you. Who's coming for me? Assassins. Hey, I had nothing to do with this. Sounds like they're mounting some kind of rescue attempt. Guess you're more important than you realized. Man, things just keep getting weirder and weirder around here. It was bound to happen. What do you mean? That little fight your ancestors started during the Third Crusade? It never ended. You're being held by Templars. Vidix a Templar? There's no way you could have known. They hide it so well. But to answer your question, Vidic works for them. We all do. Abstergo is their company. I thought Templars were old dudes with funny hats who... Sat around drinking beer and plotting world domination with, like, the lizard people. No. <laughs> Except the part about world domination, <laughs> with the lizard people. Look, Desmond, it's complicated. Half the stuff they say about the Templars comes from crazy tinfoil hat-wearing nut jobs. The other half is misinformation intentionally produced by the Templars themselves. But they are the bad guys, right? If there's one thing I've learned since I started working here, it's that there's no such thing. It's all so relative. I guess the best way to explain it is, what they want is good, but the way they're going about it, it's, it's bad. bad. Really bad. What are they trying to do? Hey, you and Vidic have the same ring, too. Lucy? Yes? Miss Stillman, I need to speak with you. Get up here, now! On my way, Doctor. I'm sorry, Desmond, I have to go. You should turn in for the night. Yeah, you're right, I should. The answers to all of your questions are right in front of you. You just have to know where to look. Oh, you mean like, uh, Vidic's personal computer? Because I'm definitely gonna go look at that right now, since I stole his pen and did some unspeakable things to, uh, to what? What? Why are you looking at me like that? Go! Seriously, you can trust me, I'm not gonna break anything. Please, Desmond. I'm gonna get in trouble if I don't leave. And I can't leave until you're in your room. Hmm. Well, what should we do about this predicament? I guess just go to bed. Uh, 
Okay. Sound asleep. Snore, snore. Not! Let's go back outside. Yeah. Okay. Let's check Lucy's computer first because that's closest. And see if she's got any new emails. Did I read this already? <coughs> Excuse me. I think, I don't think I've read this yet. You guys probably had enough time to read it on your own though, but anyway. Mr. Rickon, which is Vidic's boss. I'm hoping you might be able to help me understand why even five years after the fact, no one is willing to tell me what happened to my friend. If you are concerned about sensitive inf information being divulged as a result of sharing this with me, I think my record at the company speaks for itself. Thank you for your assistance in this matter. Best, Lucy Stillman. Let's see, do we have anything new? I read that. And I read that. Okay, so Lucy doesn't have anything new except for that one outbox thing, which I may or may not have read already. And now, let's read whatever vidic has got on his computer, since I stole his pen. I like how in, uh, on uh, Lucy's email, it says, Welcome, Lucy. On him, it says, Welcome, Vidic. It's like, why don't, I, why don't you say Warren? Okay, well, I guess we'll just go down the list. Uh, daily headlines. Oh, my God. Well, I might as well read these now. Abstergo Newswire Services daily headlines. Hurricane season ends, but not in the way you think. Increasingly erratic weather patterns have caused the Global Weather Association to abolish the term hurricane season. Once confined to the months of June through November, hurricane duration, frequency, strength, and location have increased to the point where most coastal cities must now live in constant fear of these devastating storms. And then iAbstergo satellite launch postponed. Citing last minute adjustments to their new all-in-one telecommunications satellite, iAbstergo has postponed the launch of their first satellite until December 21st. <laughs> They maintain that their patented technology will allow faster, more reliable data transmission than previous generation satellites, which suffer from delays and interference. Interesting. More daily headlines. Oh, one more. Okay. Tension mounts over Antarctic drilling. The U.S. and E.U. are once again facing heavy criticism for their decision to begin construction of jointly owned oil platforms in the Weddell Sea. Wherever that is. I don't know where that is. Probably in the Antarctic. 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 Okay. Several super... Supranic supranational unions, that's an interesting word, oppose the work, claiming it violates the Antarctic Treaty system. The situation has been further complicated by the presence of two presence, I can't talk, of two naval destroyers said to be in the region for reasons unrelated to the construction. Interesting. And let's scroll down to the bottom. Okay, that's the that's what we just read in Lucy's outbox. And then Alan Rickon to Lucy. I will be out of the office starting September 1st. I will return on October 4th. In case of an emergency, please contact my assistant, Aubrey Jacobs, at extension 1003. And then Rickon contacts Vidic and says, You told me she wasn't going to be a problem, and here she is stirring up the shit again. Deal with this, Warren. You vouched for her. You're responsible for her. You leave Lucy alone. Okay. Two outboxes. We read that already. And I read that already. Okay. Let's go to the deleted items. Read this one first. Oh, God. As a general reminder, yeah, this was in Lucy's inbox, too. So there's this thing again. And then I know from Sender Unknown. I know what you're doing. I know what you did. I saw him. He had a metal ball. It opened. They went crazy, shooting, stabbing, tore each other to pieces. I know it was you people. Saw the logo, heard the name. I'm going to tell anyone who will listen. You'll be exposed. They'll know the truth. And then you will pay. You crazy bastards. You will pay. I still don't know who sent that message. I mean, I have my theories, but I'm unsure. We have me send her unknown. There's no way we can possibly know. Might have to do some more digging on the Assassin's Creed wiki about that. But yeah. That is in Vidic's inbox. Some creepy stuff. All right, and that's everything, I believe. So, let's go to sleep now. And let that creepy-ass message that was all in capital letters 
And whoever the sender was obviously does not know the existence of the comma! Or the caps lock button, since he probably hit it one day on accident and had no idea that he did. <laughs> and let's have some more creepy nightmares of glowing weird symbols. Chinese symbols. Ching Chong. That's offensive, I'm sorry. Hey, there's Lucy! Aw, where's Fiddick? I didn't get a good morning. Missed you this morning, Doc. Missed you this morning, Doc. Get in the Animus. I'm sorry if I pushed any buttons. Let me just go up and say hi. Maybe I could cheer him up a little bit. You know, dude, you should probably lay off, lay off on that coffee. That's probably what's stressing you out all the time. You drink so much coffee throughout the day, you don't go to sleep, and then you have a bad night's sleep, and you wake up crabby, and then your, your whole sleep clock just gets thrown. Like, seriously, you should lay off that stuff. I mean, I know, man, coffee's like a drug. It tastes awesome in the morning, and it helps you get through the day, but sometimes it's nice to know when enough is enough. All right. Hi, Lucy. It's time to go back in the Animus. And enter memory block number five. Whenever you're ready, just select the memory you'd like to visit. Hold on. Does it say who the targets are? It doesn't. Uh, who's the target in Jerusalem? I'm gonna, I'm gonna like kick my own foot and not feel it because my feet are freezing when I figure out who it is. Sabrand so is the last Acre target. Jubair is the last Damascus target. It's not Robert. Robert's no. Robert is the ninth. I, I thought he was the tenth. But no, I'm I am standing right I in front of the tenth first. right now. I have questions. I'm an idiot. I'll do my best to answer. The Merchant King of Damas murdered the nobles who ruled his city. Mejdeddin in Jerusalem used fear to force his people into submission. I suspect William meant to murder Richard and hold Akka with his troops. These men were meant to aid their leaders. Instead, they chose to betray them. What I do not understand is why. Is the answer not obvious? The Templars desire control. Each man, as you've noted, wanted to claim their cities in the Templar name, that the Templars themselves might rule the Holy Land, and eventually beyond. But they cannot succeed in their mission. Why is that? Their plans depend upon the Templar treasure, the Peace of Eden. But we hold it now, and they cannot hope to achieve their goals without it. What is this treasure? It is temptation. It's just, just a piece, piece of, of silver. silver. Look at it. What am, what am I, I supposed, supposed to see? This piece of silver cast out Adam and Eve. It turned staves into snakes, parted and closed the Red Sea. Eris used it to start the Trojan War, and with it a poor carpenter turned water into wine. It, it seems rather plain for all the power you claim it has. How, How does, does it work? work? He who holds it commands the hearts and minds of whoever looks upon it. Whoever tastes of it, as they say. Then Gagne's men? An experiment. Herbs used to simulate its effects, to be ready for when they held it. Talel supplied them, to me equipped them. They were preparing for something. But what? War. And the others, what the men who ruled the cities, for? they meant to gather up their people, make them like Gagne's men. The perfect citizens. The perfect souls. A perfect world. Robert de Sable must never have this back. Whatever happened to that cool case? So long case? as he and his brothers live, they will try. Then they must be destroyed. Which is what I've had you doing. There are two more Templars who require your attention. Well, one three. One in Akka, known as Sibran. One in Damas, called Jubair. Or four. Visit with the Bureau leaders. They'll instruct you further. As you wish. Be quick about it. No doubt Robert de Sable is made nervous by our continued success. His remaining followers will do their best to expose you. They know you come, the man in the white hood. They'll be looking for they you. They won't find me. I'm but a blade in the crowd. Here, my gift to you. In gratitude for the good work you've done. Another new sword? Oh my live you Spoil me way too much. Oh, you. Come on. How am I supposed to repay your kindness after you stab me in my freaking abdomen? 
Nice moves. I'll tell you, you swear the hell did he go? Interesting. 